Today, there are some first time voters, many of them on college campuses. Tyson Bragg joins us from the campus of Texas Southern University, where they're gearing up for a watch party tonight, Tracen. <laughs> That's right, that watch party actually opens its doors in about 10 minutes. We're going to head there in just a few minutes, but speaking about TSU's campus, it has been nothing but excitement here since we arrived. Take a look behind me. This bus just pulled up, and as it says, they are bringing people to the polls. Take a look behind me. Look at all these folks that they just brought to the polls, and they're going to be heading into that building, the Recreation Center. That is because that is where the polls are located here on campus. And let me tell you, we have arrived here. We arrived here about several hours ago, and since we got here, we've seen a steady flow of students making their way into that building, making sure that they get their vote heard and get their vote counted. I spoke to one woman who's worked in this area, working to inform young voters and get them to the polls for several years. And she says in terms of student engagement, this year stands out. I've seen a lot more inc excitement. Um, we were texting young folks, uh, folks that we've registered on this campus and across Houston. And usually I, we do text and you get some responses. And this year, like, people were like, yeah, where's my polling location? Like they were responding back, like, like asking questions, really wanting to get the information so they can get out and vote. Yeah, important information there. That woman, Shelly Baker, tells us that she actually voted here on campus. Again, a lot of excitement around here. The polls, of, clo of course, close at 7 p.m. And again, that watch party, oh yeah, it opens its doors in about 10 minutes. So we will be heading there next. I'll send it back to you all. All right, Trayson, thank you. Let's